Hey there, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm gonna talk about modeling a loan assumption using the all-in-one. Now, this question came up from a question in our all-in-one support forum. It's a free forum for all of our all-in-one users. Uh, just go on, come on in here. You can ask me questions about the model. Uh, let me know about bug fi fixes, etc. But in this particular question, the, the scenario was the individual was acquiring a property that had existing debt. And for whatever reason, it didn't make sense to pay off that debt. It made more sense to assume the debt and assume the terms that come with that debt. And so this individual asked, hey, how do I handle that in the all-in-one? And my response was this, uh, you'll need to know the existing loan balance of the, the debt you're going to be assuming, the original amortization in months, uh, the monthly amortizing payments for the loan, as well as any interest only monthly payments, if there's any IO left. You'll need to know how many months of interest only are remaining, if any. And then finally, how many months are left on the loan's term? And with that information, and assuming you're using version 0.77 or later of the all-in-one, you can model this situation. Now to do so, you'll come to the PERM debt tab, and here you'll find a toggle under senior debt initial. Okay, this is your, your initial tranche of senior debt when you acquire the property uh, or you begin your analysis of this investment. And you're asking, is there or will there be new proceeds or will we be assuming existing debt? In this case, we're gonna toggle to loan assumption. And with that toggle uh, in place, you'll notice here that our AMORT payments monthly and our IO payments monthly turn blue. They become input cells. And that's because we're gonna, going to be inputting the existing terms of this loan. And so uh, this particular loan, just I created a hypothetical, has an, a, an outstanding balance of 9.5 million, a amortizing payment monthly of 163,000. There is no interest only remaining here. 67 months remaining on the term with 360 month amortizing uh, and then a 4.9% interest rate. So we take those terms and we just come in here and we drop them in. So we say 9,541,330. Uh, there will likely be some assumption fee. We're gonna say half a percent here, 50 basis points or 47,707. Interest rate of 4.9% on the existing loan. Again, the existing loan had an, ex an original amort amortization of 30 years, 360 months. Uh, payoff month comes in month 67, right? There are 67 months left of term on this loan. Uh, interest only period, there's no interest only remaining. And then our AMORT payment, what did I say? 163064. And so now we've modeled our initial debt. The question is, what do we do once that loan fully amortizes down? In month 67, that loan ends. It's amortized down. There's nothing left in it or nothing left owed on it at that point. And do we want to put new debt on at that point? Well, here, because this the first loan has amortized all the way down to zero, we don't have to. Uh, but... Just for fun, let's assume that we do. In that month 67, we put another $9 million loan on the property with some, I don't know, terms like that. 4% interest rate, 360 months of uh, amortization. Uh, let's do full IO here, so 67 months of interest only. And so we put subsequent debt. Now, we can see this by coming out here to the far right, out to month 67. And you'll find that the initial debt uh, amortized all the way down to zero. We funded new debt in that same month. And then that same debt carries us to the end of our analysis period. And so that, that's the first scenario, right? That initial debt amortized all the way down. Well, let's imagine a situation where uh, it doesn't amortize. So instead of an AMORT payment of 163.064, it's actually an AMORT payment of 57. 185 okay and all all else is equal but what happens is there's a uh, there's a balloon balance in month 67 we'll come out here to the right and you'll see there's a balloon balance of 8.14 million and but because we assumed a nine million dollar loan in month 67 it pays off the balloon of the first uh, of that assumed loan there's some equity return to the partners 
and then this new debt carries us to the end of our analysis period. And so with that, that's how you model a loan assumption using the all-in-one. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, head over to the all-in-one support forum to ask those questions. Uh, happy to respond to them. Otherwise, thanks for your time today.